Okie dokie. All right, so here we go. Sweet creatures, right? Um, bass notes are right on. We're going to call them quarter notes. One, two, three, four. I like to mute a little bit here just to keep the note in control. All right, the first beat gets the open B string played as well. I'm using my ring finger. So it's thumb and ring finger. beats two and three, I'm going to play the G string, and in between beat three and four, I'm going to play the open B string again, okay? So that alternates. Okay, so the low G note becomes a pedal tone for part of the pattern. It's a little bit messy and doesn't come out exactly the same all the way all the time, but that's absolutely fine. Okay, so the first part of the song. Okay, I need to work on that. But we're gonna get there. The important thing is getting the pattern clear in your head. If you can get that pattern clear in your head, just repeat that over and over again. And do it with the open strings or even muted strings, okay? So that this hand gets a chance to work on it all on its own without being reliant on hearing the sound of the other notes here. If you can hear the sound of the notes in your head, that's fine. So that there's a distinct pattern in there, so that pattern has to be repeated. And repetition is the best form of practice for this because we have to repeat it over and over again for the part of our brain that controls all the muscles to learn how to get it right, to go through the mistakes, to get rid of them, and to figure out how to turn that pattern into muscle memory for us. Okay? There we go.